Them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones. Go to hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones. Go to hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones. Go to hear the word of the Lord. Oh, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones. Go to hear the word of the Lord. Oh, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, they go to hear the word of the Lord. Oh, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, they go to hear the word of the Lord. Oh, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them a. Dry bones, they go to hear the word of the Lord. God bless you, Jesus. I'm a soul man for Jesus. I'm going to win many souls before I die. My last breath, when I close my eyes, my last heartbeat. Got a new prophecy from the throne room out there. YouTubers out there and Christ Cyberspace on YouTube in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. This is a new prophecy Prophecy on the valley a dry bones generation. God bless America and God bless the whole wide world. That when he a prophet Ezekiel over 2,500 years ago, he was slave, he's captive in Babylon. We're going to read out Ezekiel chapter 37. He was prophesying the restoration for the uh, God blessed holy land of the uh, state of Israel. But today. The prophecies go beyond the uh, prophecy on the uh, belly of dry bones generation. Some of you dead bones out there in the name of Jesus, you're going to wake up and be alive and walk forevermore. You've been too many years running from the Lord. This is your time, you belly of dry bones generation, to wake up and you're going to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, of restoration, and you'll be alive bones. Resurrection, power of Jesus Christ. Resurrection bones. So, for the glory be to God. We're going to read out the Holy Bible today in uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And sent me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And called me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? This is the prophet Ezekiel, the God of Israel is talking to. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy to these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And the power of God fall on you, belly, a uh, dry bone generation right now. I feel God's presence. Let thy mental power double portion, your Holy Ghost of power. O Lord, let the bones live. Let the bones be resurrected. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm a soul man for Jesus. I'm winning me soul for the glory be to God. I prof so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, a miracle of the God of Israel. And the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. 
So I prophesied as he commanded me, and their breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet exceedingly great army. The army of God, a miracle of God, resurrected the dead for the glory be to God. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole health of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out, up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O oh, my people, and brought you up out of your graves, resurrection power of Jesus Christ, and you shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall put you in your own land. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord. And may the Lord have his blessings upon his holy word and his holy Bible. Me and Betty's praying for you here, at least the Brother Ministries in Picnicville, Illinois. And this is your time right now. You belly of dry bone generations all over the world, in the United States of America, in Israel, and North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. This is your time that your dry bones, that Jesus Christ will speak life and be resurrection power. You'll be born again, Jesus Christ. Well, save your soul. Won't be no more belly dry bones. You'll have live bones. You'll have resurrection bones of Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah, the God of Israel. And me and Betty Kelly and Alicia is praying for you, at least the Brother Ministry in Pinckneyville, Illinois, today. We thank you, YouTube, for this video. Now, this is your time. You belly dry bones generation. Turn your life over to the Lord. You've been running. Uh, from him too long, you've been trying to uh, get away from him, but wherever you go, you can't get away from Jesus. This is your hour, this is your time. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ can save your soul, forgive you for your sins. This is your time, this is your hour, this is your destiny today. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, uh, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as a personal Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm born again. Lord Jesus Christ, I have eternal life now. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving my soul. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today. You right. Uh, George and Betty Keller, YouTube channel, give Jesus the best hand clap. Jesus just did a miracle. He just saved your soul in North America, in South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, for the glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just write George and Betty Covey's channel on YouTube. Email us. We have our address there. For the glory be to God. We want to hear the good news. Did you just step to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Pray for me and Betty Kelly here and Alicia Kelly in Pignanville, Illinois. And at least the Brethren Ministry will be praying for you here at least the Brethren uh, Church. We love you, Jesus. Love you. Have you good day. And the prophecy on the valley of dry bones generation. You're not dry bones no more. You're set free. You're live bones. You're resurrection power. You're in the army of God. You know, you're marching to Zion. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Uh, you're marching up to Zion. Uh, the beautiful city of God. Amen, amen. Be praying for us. We'll be praying for you. Have a good day. God bless you.